Hey everybody, happy Saturday. How are you? How's everybody doing today? I hope you all had a great day. I had a busy day, but all in all, it was pretty good, I have to say. Pretty good day. So guys, today I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to use mostly all pharmacy products except for the eyes. I'm going to do something different with the eyes, um, but everything else will be pharmacy. So I already have my primer on. I went in with the pharmacy um, VFX Pro Primer in the silver tube. And we are going to go in with CC Cream Light to Medium 02. And start putting that on. Get my cloth. And as always, Damp Beauty Blender to apply that on our face. You guys can use whatever method you prefer, whether it be a brush, your fingers, a beauty blender, either wet or dry, does not matter. It's whatever is what you like to do. There is no rules on how to apply the makeup. So once I spread it on, I go back in with my beauty blender, let me get my hair out of the way. I go in and I start to tap that in. That way it makes it nice and smooth. And our CC cream is a color correcting cream. So it's really good if you have any type of imperfections, a lot of redness, that's gonna be a, your best friend. And it's really hydrating, believe it or not. It is quite hydrating. So it's really a good, good, good foundation. Everyday foundation. And like I said, it definitely will get you coverage. Where I know some CC creams, BB creams, they don't really do much. They they even your skin out a little bit, but they don't give you any pigment payoff. And with ours, you definitely get that. And I'm just going in. I actually used way too much product. Way, way too much. <laughs> Sometimes I get carried away with myself. So I'm just going in and... with my beauty blender and just kind of toning that down a little bit, getting into my hairline. Okay, so that is done. And I like to just go in and clean up my brows a little bit. I don't like when you can see like a lot of foundation under my brows. I do not fill my brows in, but you can if you'd like. All right, so we have foundation on. And I am going to go in with one of our powders that I haven't really used in a long time, actually. Kind of crazy. I'm going to go in with our CC powder and our Be Fit line. And I am going to use that to set my eyes with. And this is like a marbleized setting powder. It's really, really good, guys. And I am going to set my eyes. I'm going to set my face. Now, usually, you know me, I don't usually set my face with powder, but 
a lot of people have been asking to see what the different powders look like on the skin. So I am incorporating that a little bit more. Okay, powder's on. And um, you can find this in the BeFit line that we have. Really good powder. You need it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go in with, I got in the Natasha Denona um, palette. That's what it looks like. And I really just wanted to play with this palette. It's really pretty. It's like fall in a palette. Like it's so pretty. So I want to try this just for something different, you know. Just want to do something a little bit different. And the rest, like I said, everything else is going to be pharmacy. So, all right, I'm going to start in with this really pretty deep orange. And whoa, that has some serious pigment to it. So I'm going to put that in the crease. I have no idea what I'm going to do for a look yet. I just know that I wanted to put this in the crease, but I do need a bigger, fluffier brush. I'm going to use a pharmacy brush. I don't even know why I use my other brushes. I don't ever stick with them. I always end up back with these brushes. This color is so intense, guys. Holy Moses. That is some serious pigment. <laughs> really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Okay. So I'm going to go in on this eye in the crease. Place it and go back in with the pharmacy brush. Start to blend that out. This color matches this sweater perfectly. Actually, let me get my other mirror. Hope you guys can see me with that ring light being the way it is. But if I don't have the ring light on, I cannot see anything. So but sometimes it gives a little bit of a glare. So hopefully that's not the case today. If it is and I see it in the video, of course, I won't post this video. I'll redo it for you guys. Most definitely. Okay, so gonna just make sure you blend that all really well in the crease and then I'm trying to think I'm gonna decide what color I want to go in on the lid with and then I'm gonna take another fluffy brush a bigger fluffy brush and go over that crease I have never um, owned a Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow palette, ever. But I have to say, I'm very impressed. Okay, so we have our crease. I think I want to, I think I'm going to go in with this shade and put that on the lid and then I think I'm going to go in after on top with a sparkle shade that's there okay now that shade looked a lot lighter in the palette but it's actually quite pigmented 
so that was a little surprising i thought it was going to be a lot lighter that's okay like i said i'm going to go on top with that um sparkle shade glitter shade and i just need to put a little bit more of that orange right there and this is definitely a fall shade so now i'm going to go in with that gold and i'm going to place that on top of the shade that we just put on. And I'm just using my finger, guys. Just using that fluffy brush to blend that. And let's see, where's my rag? So far, so good, guys. It looks good here. Hope it looks good on camera. Okay. So, again, I want to just blend. And then I think I'm going to go in with the dark brown that's here, this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner a little bit. just on the outer corner. I'm not taking it too far. I'm just deepening up that outer corner. And I love these little brushes for that because you can really control where that color is going. So have you guys finished Christmas shopping yet? Have you even started Christmas shop yet? I actually am pretty much almost done, believe it or not. Crazy, I know, but I am. I am almost done, which is great. I did everything online, so <laughs> I didn't have to go into stores. I just that I just was not doing that this year. Not going to do that this year. Okay, so I'm going to put this lighter shade on the top. And I'm going to put that right under my brow bone. And so far, guys, I have to say I am very impressed with this um, palette. And this is in the, the palette's name is Peak. If anyone interested, it's Natasha Denona Peak. If anybody is interested. And let me just go in again. Do a little bit more blending. I want to make sure that brown is blended. Nicely. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope so. All right, now I'm going to go underneath. And for that, I need to take a little tiny brush. And I think I think I'm going to go in with 
I'm gonna go in with the brown shade for underneath. I'm putting the brown underneath and then I think I'm gonna go in with that color right there and run that on top and then I'm gonna go into my inner corner with that sparkle shade and just pop that right in the inner corner just to lighten it a little bit. Can you guys see that? And just deepen that brown a little bit. I don't know why, but sometimes I have the hardest time like matching my outer corners. It's crazy. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in and put just a little bit of a eyeliner. Um, so this is not pharmacy, this is Essence. It's just like a natural colored eyeliner. It just brightens. And I'm just going to put that in my waterline. I like it when I have like a darker eye because it just adds a little bit of lightness. And I love Pharmacy's eyeliners, but I have that one and I like to use it every so often. So now I'm gonna go in with blush and I am gonna go in with, let me see, instead of using Peach Bite, let's, let's use one of the other blushes today. Um, Cause I'm always using the palettes, like the three in one or the Peach Bite. I'm gonna go in with our blush in the shade 02, that's what it looks like. Just gonna pop that on our cheeks. It's a really pretty color, guys. And it's not, it's like a soft color, so it's, it's really nice. I like it. I don't like like harsh looking blushes. You guys know that I'm not a big blush person. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with our highlighter palette and I'm gonna pop some highlight on our cheeks. Let's see, what brush do I wanna use? I'm gonna go in and use this is just an e.l.f. highlighting brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade from the highlight palette, which is like that peachy gold. And I'm just going to pop that on our the top, oops, the top of my cheek. I love this highlight palette. Our highlights are so nice because they're really soft. They're not chunky. Um, so they're really, they're just, I don't know how to explain it. Like the quality is so good and they're just so soft and pretty and they have like a really natural glow to them. So it's not like, you know, some eye highlighters can be like over the top. Ours is just, they're just so pretty. 
and kind of like a natural look, but yet you can build them up if you need to or you want to, which is nice. And I'm just making sure that my under eye is even. Just putting a little bit more over here. That's better. And this is like a very intense look, guys. This is an intense eye look. But it's beautiful, beautiful fall look. Okay, so now we need to go in with mascara. So I feel like I got I got eyeshadow in my eye. All right, now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with Star Look because uh, we all know it's one of my favorites. I love Star Look. It's so good. Okay, this is what the brush looks like, guys. And this is $19.90. And one of the reasons I love Star Look is because the wand. It's, it's a bristle wand, it's really big, but the end is tapered, so you can really get into all those baby lashes. And this gives you volume, it gives you length, it gives you everything 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 but it's still natural enough that you can wear this every day and you can intensify it depending on how many coats you put on i usually go in with one coat that's just me but you can go in with as many as you want. And remember guys, every three months, you should be replacing your mascara. Okay. So, got mascara on that eye. Now let's go in and do this one. So guys, don't, you know, don't forget that you don't have to buy a full face of pharmacy makeup. You can buy a little at a time. You can mix and match pharmacy products with other products that you love. You know what I mean? You don't have to just do all of one brand. Um, you can mix and match. That's what makes makeup fun. And everyone says, oh, don't you feel guilty like using other makeup if you since you sell pharmacy and you know, does isn't that gonna hurt you if you show other makeup since you sell makeup? And I'm like, uh no. I mean, makeup's fun. I I could never limit myself to just one brand of makeup, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, majority of what I use is all pharmacy. I very rarely use anything else, honestly, but every so often I still, you know, I incorporate a product that I see if I really, really like it. Um, you know, I just love makeup. So I couldn't really see myself never trying or having fun with other products. But I mean, skincare, I only use pharmacy. It's the only skincare I use is pharmacy products. Um, and like I said, all my foundations are pharmacy, all my mascaras are pharmacy, all my lip products are pharmacy. The only products that I like will incorporate and try out um, that's not pharmacy, like I said, is eyeshadow. Because I, I love eyeshadow. I love to create different looks. 
So that is about the only thing that I will incorporate still that might not be a pharmacy product. But other than that, everything I use is really pharmacy. Um, I'm gonna go in with um, Extreme Curl on the bottom. I'm really, really, really loving the Extreme Curl on the bottom lashes because the, um, do I even have it? I think I actually ran out. Let me check here. Um, I've been loving it on my bottom lashes. And nope, I don't. So let me, yeah, I did run out. Okay, I gotta order a new one. I'm just gonna go in the bot with the um, double lash extend and I'm gonna put that on my bottom lashes. I love star look, but on the bottom lashes, it can be a little daunting because the brush is so big that sometimes I make a mess. So I love it on my top lashes, but sometimes not so much on my bottom. So I like the um, double lash extend the volume on the bottom. It just works really nice on the bottom lashes because it gives me that volume. Okay. And I did get some mascara, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute and then I'll clean it up. A little trick, if you use the end of the wand, the tip of it, you can really get into those lashes that are in the corners. It'll pull them out. Okay. And let me get rid of a little bit of mascara. And I got a little bit of fallout right there. I just want to clean. Here we go. Okay. So star look on the top, double lash on the bottom, volume side. And let me just straighten out that lower lash. It's caught on the other one. Let me fix that. That's better. Now we're gonna go in with lips, guys, and this is my dilemma. Our eyes are really bold, so I don't wanna go in with um, a really dark lip. I was going to, I was gonna go in with um, number nine, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, but it's so pretty, guys. Oh, okay. And then I also have Autumn Story, which is number 12, but I think that that might be too much, but I really want to use this one. So I think I'm going to, you know, what the heck, what the heck, right? I'll show you that and you could always go in with a nude lip. So we're going to go in with number nine. and see what that looks like. I actually might go on top with a little bit of the other shade. We'll see. Maybe. Because this is 
really bold, but I like it. I like it. So that's number nine. Now, the other thing you could do if you wanted to is you could go in with a little bit of highlight and put that right in the middle just to kind of ombre it out a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Now, you could go on top with a gloss if you wanted to. You could go in with one of our sparkle glosses, which I think would look really, really pretty. But you know me, guys. I love a matte lip. I like glosses, but I love a matte lip. So I'm going to keep it with just, just the matte lip today. But that's the look, guys. So I hope that you guys like it. I hope that it's just something different. You know, it's not, it was a little something different to see. Um, so let me just recap so you guys know exactly what we used. We went in with VFX Pro Primer in the Silver Tube. We used our CC Cream um, in Light to Medium 02 for our foundation. Um, we did our CC Powder from the BeFit line. We did the Natasha Denona Peak Palette on our eyes. We used the Essence um, Liner. I'm not even sure what's, it's Silky Nude. El Essence Liner Eyeliner Silky Nude. Then we used um, 02 Mono Blush. So that's the blush we used, 02. So pretty. And then we used the highlight from the highlighter palette, which is a gorgeous highlighting palette. You need that. And then we went in with a combo of the double lash extend volume on the bottom and star look on the top lashes. And then on the lips, we went in with 09, which is a beautiful, like deep, rich, like a pumpkin color almost, but like more on the brown side, like a brown peachy. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just beautiful. But anyways, that's what's on the lips. And that's the look, guys. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you want to kind of give you, I hope that it will give you some inspiration to create something more fall-like. Um, don't be afraid of like the dark colors, guys. You can blend them out and really make them your own. And like a lot of people get afraid. They see like these shades like this and they're like, oh my God, I can't, like there's no way. Trust me, you can. So think out of the box, take a risk and just use colors that you normally wouldn't use or think that you can't use and give it a try. Remember, blending is going to be the key. You need to blend them out. Once you get them blended, it's going to come out beautifully. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. You don't even have to go in with a plan. Just start applying the colors onto your lids and just see where it goes from there. It's makeup. If you don't like it or it doesn't come out right, you wash it off, you start again. So it's really not a big deal. Um, but everybody should have fun with their makeup. Everybody. It should be fun. And like, like I said, you can mix and match different brands. So don't be, don't get yourself into a box where you're only using one thing, like in the same thing over and over again. Like it's great to have, we all have our comfortable look. We all have our go-to look and that's great. That's like me. I have my my go-to look, like my comfort look. And those are nudes and soft colors and um, like really pretty pinks and the browns and those are my colors. But every so often it's good to just think out of the box and come up with something fun, a little bit more bold, a little more glam. It's fun. So anyways, I hope that this inspires you to do the same. As always, you can shop for any of these products at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. Um, that is my virtual online catalog. So you can shop for any pharmacy products 
through there and they will get delivered directly to your door. As always, don't forget that Pharmacy does offer customers the ability to shop for 50% off if they join for $19.99. That gives you the availability to buy everything at 50% off for as long as you want, as many times as you want, as long as you purchase one thing every six months. So it's a really great option, guys. It's it's a really good deal. So you might want to think about doing that. Um, the minute you get your kit, for, they give you like a welcome kit for joining. So you get that. The minute you put that into your car, everything else that you put in after that will be 50% off automatically. So you could do a lot of shopping and get some really good gifts, high quality, affordable gifts at amazing prices because the prices are already so good but when you add the 50 percent discount now like you can get a lot of gifts out of the way and not break the bank so go check that out if you need any help please message me and i'll help you um i'm trying to think if there was anything else i needed to say i don't think so anyways i hope you guys had an amazing saturday have a great day tomorrow happy sunday to you all for tomorrow um enjoy some time with your family um my ear earrings are from paparazzi if you are interested please let me know and i will give you the info on that they are gorgeous gorgeous earrings i love the stuff i've gotten from paparazzi so far so just message me and i will give you the details on that and yeah so thanks for watching guys thanks for spending some time with me and i will be back on monday with a brand new video Take care, guys. Bye-bye.